Let me know if you need anything described as we're going through. Okay, perfect. And then, uh, sweet. You ready for your first video? I'm ready for my first video. All right. I don't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> Recently, I was on an episode of YouTubers React, and we noticed in the comments, people were very curious as to why they would have a blind person watching videos and reacting to them. Why would there be a laptop in front of you, and how can you possibly follow along with the video without being able to see it? So I thought I'd answer your questions and give you a behind the scenes look at how they do YouTubers React. When you're invited to be a guest on YouTubers React, the Fine Brothers and the producers don't tell you a thing about what you're gonna see, right? Because they wanna get your reaction, so you go in blind. That was the easy part for me. So what they do is they schedule a bunch of YouTubers back to back all day long, and you get there a few minutes early and you just wait your turn. My first time there was pretty cool. They asked me to sign the wall, as they do with everybody who appears in the React series. Once you're in the studio and situated on set, you start watching videos almost immediately. Just tell Tommy which direction you want him to aim. A lot of people wonder why they put a laptop in front of me when I can't see the screen. Do you want to face that computer right here? Yeah, facing the computer right there. Okay. They play the videos on that machine, and I can listen to the speakers on it, and they might plug a pair of headphones into it as well. So one way or another, it does have a function. And also you have to remember, Everybody else is reacting to videos has a laptop in front of them. So I'm positioned in the same way in front of the laptop so that I can fit into the show's format. Just because I'm blind since birth doesn't mean I can't watch YouTube videos. I mean, it's the same as watching television or movies for me, right? I listen to the dialogue, of course, the music, and the sound effects, and that really helps to paint the picture for me. Now, not every video out there is easy for me to follow, but I'm sure they consider that when they're picking out which videos they want to show me. They also might set it up for me so that I know what I'm going into, right? You know, tell me about the topic of the video so I have an idea of what's happening on the screen. Today we are going to show you a series of videos, but the challenge is you have to try not to cringe while watching. There are so many cues to follow. I, for example, the dialogue, right? It lets me know exactly what's happening. I get to know how the person feels by what they're saying, how they say it in the tone of their voice. I can hear if they're angry, sad, upset, Happy, it's all right there. Wow, this is strange. I love when that happens on the news. Uh, just on television, I, you know, that's my favorite. And when it comes to the music, that lets me know what's happening in the scene, or if it's a scene change or the emotion of the scene. Boom. <laughs> For example, if somebody's excited, the music will show that by being upbeat, right? Or if it's a dramatic scene, the music might be more tense or more suspenseful. Oh my God. And if a scene changes, the music might be used as a transition. Uh-oh. Or goes away, or starts with the scene altogether. <laughs> oh no. For the sound effects or ambience, that helps me to know where the scene takes place, right? For example, if it's in a city, I might hear a lot of traffic noises. If it's in a neighborhood, you know, maybe a couple of cars passing by, but you hear the birds and all that kind of stuff. There are tons and tons of clues. That's incredible. That, oh my God. Like if TV was like that all the time, I'd watch it more. <laughs> Sometimes part of the fun is I don't know exactly what's going on as soon as it's happening. So maybe somebody from the Fine Brothers or one of the producers will tell me and sort of help me fill in the blank so I understand. So this final gentleman is drinking a beer. He is very intoxicated. Okay. Uh, and he actually vomits directly into his cup. Oh no. And then continues drinking. Where are we? Uh, it's in a bar so you can't really hear. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's putting his finger in it. No. He wiped his face. And he's sipping it again. Oh my God. That's gotta be about the cringiest thing in the world. All right, perfect. So those weren't the only things that people were asking about in the comments. So we thought it might be fun for me to react to you reacting to me. Reacting. Here's Ben Churchill, how are you, sir? Thank you, sir, very good. You sure you wanna do this? Yeah, I'm sure, come on. Okay. Take no responsibility for what they say. <laughs> Listen, I take no responsibility for how I react. They brought a freaking blind guy to watch a video? <laughs> yep, <laughs> they sure did. Isn't it great? Why the f do you have a blind guy reacting to a song you need subtitles for? <laughs> Why not? Would you rather stay at home all day? So we're just gonna act like it's normal to have a blind guy reacting to videos? Social justice has gotten f***ed up. 
Huh? I, I'm lost. It's completely normal for me to watch videos. Jeez, I have a YouTube channel. One thing is being inclusive, and another is just being plain stupid. Why bring a blind person when the interesting part is the video? You know what? You say they're stupid, I'm sorry, but you're the one that's stupid. You can't realize that you know there's other things happening besides a picture. Bet on you, not on them. Why would they put a blind guy in front of the screen? That's cruel, you can't see anything. The sound comes out of there, so, you know, what am I gonna be across the room so I can't hear the computer? They got a blind guy to react to videos. Slow claps. <laughs> you know what, slow claps are better than none, so I'll take them. <laughs> What's the point of the blind guy being there? I feel kind of bad for him. Jeez. You know what, don't feel bad for me, I'm doing fine. Please, I, I'll tell you what, subscribe to the channel and have a look. Maybe you could learn a little bit and figure out why I'm there. I think that's fair. The blind man said, I saw the news, brah. Yeah, the blind man did say I saw the news, brah. Let me ask you a question, sir. When you go to see the doctor, do you just sit there and look at him? I got to meet one of the Gregory brothers one time and they actually said that to me and it made so much sense I never forgot it. Just because it's the word see, it's not necessarily what it means, right? I can see too, but I don't just see with my eyes, I see with my mind. And when you go to see the doctor, you're not just standing there looking at him, right? You want them to check you out. <laughs> so, it's all for cocktail. They had a blind guy in a react channel. Listen, that's better than a react guy in a blind channel, think about it. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> say what? How's that? Big thanks to the Fine Brothers for having me on the show because they took a chance, right? They took a chance on having a blind guy in a show about people watching and reacting to videos. They get it that I don't have to see to be able to understand what's happening and that there are all sorts of cues that I can pick up on. If you're new to the channel, what I do here is answer questions about what it's like to be blind. So if you have anything that you're curious about, feel free to leave your question in the comments. Now. People are very curious, how do you read the comments? I read them on my iPhone. See, one down, yours to go. So are we going to ignore the fact that the guy who was blind said he saw the news of Harambe? <laughs> yes, let's just ignore it.